In differential equations, it's not just important to talk about what the solution is, but to also give the interval of solution. Let's use an example. For a little bit of review, this is a first order because of the first derivative. It's nonlinear. That's because of the y squared. And it's an ODE. With the addition of this initial condition, it's now an IVP, an initial value problem. So looking at this, I always try to see if this is separable first, and it is. I first write it in Leibniz notation and start separating the variables. Now I'm going to integrate both sides. When I do this, I get this as a solution. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. And again, I'm getting sloppy with my c, but I don't care if it's a negative c or a positive c. When I plug in my initial condition, what I want is that number, plus or minus what. Now I'm going to solve for this explicitly, and this is my general solution. What I'm going to do now is find my particular solution by using my initial condition. And I find that c is equal to negative 1, and so my particular solution is this. Now what I want to do is graph that solution. And I graph this using Desmos. So you notice there are two vertical asymptotes, and my initial condition falls right there at 0, comma, negative 1. That means that the region between those two vertical asymptotes is my interval of solution. I can't jump across the asymptote. So this solution is only valid between negative 1 and positive 1. And I'm using interval notation to show that. Let's change the initial condition. Let's say my initial condition instead was y of 2 is equal to 1. If I use that in my general solution, I find that c is equal to negative 3. And so my particular solution is this. Now before I go to graph this, I'm guessing that my vertical asymptotes are going to be when the denominator is equal to 0, or plus or minus square root of 3. So I'm guessing I'm going to have three separate intervals where this solution could be valid. So let's go ahead and look in the graph. Okay, so here's my initial value. That's at 2 comma 1. So it looks like my third interval is where this solution is valid. So that solution is valid from square root of 3 to positive infinity. So when you come up with a particular solution, you need to also identify the region of the solution. That is the interval where you can plug in x values and make that solution still true.